Hi, welcome to Personality Hacker. My name is Joel Mark Witt. And I'm Antonia Dodge. And today we're talking about the ISFP personality type in the Myers-Briggs system or the authenticity sensation type in the genius system. Right, we're gonna do a little bit of a riff on this type. We're not gonna go a super deep dive, but we're gonna talk about some of our impressions about this type. And it's really interesting because this type happens to be the type of Joel's father. He's an ISFP. Yeah, I like ISFPs. I love the fact that ISFPs show up to the world. If you're looking at our genius system, if you've taken the test and you've come out as an ISFP, you'll know that you lead with a process called authenticity. And so it matters what's core to the heart of your being. In other words, whatever the core values are, whatever's in alignment with you, it matters to you. And it can be really, really a powerful force because when you have conviction as an ISFP, you are unstoppable because you have conviction around it and nothing is going to get in your way to uh, to affect change in whatever way you feel convicted about. Yeah, absolutely. And a person of this type marries their authenticity process, that process that really helps them get in touch with how they feel about things and really create that conviction. They marry it with a process called sensation. And sensation is all about understanding what's going on in the, in the moment in real time using all of your senses. What's interesting is how the ISFP uses sensation is usually they do it in a very artistic way. Yeah. Because because they're coupling how things are making them feel, right? Like how something is impacting them on an emotional level. And then they're coupling it with the ability to interact with their senses, right? Have a really acute sensitivity with all of their senses. And so they oftentimes end up being some of the best dancers, some of the best artists, the best chefs, right? Because they're trying to help replicate an emotion in another person using or helping that person use their senses. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that's powerful about that authenticity process is not only does it have conviction, but like you said, they know how to replicate emotion. They can almost recreate emotions in their own their own hearts, their own selves. And because they have the ability to get to the nuanced level of emotion, and it doesn't matter the medium, like you're talking about a chef, a cook, a dancer, mm -hmm. that comes out in whatever art they t typically choose, or whatever expression they typically choose. It doesn't have to be art, it can yeah. be whatever. But it comes out in that way, and it's really a powerful way to showcase people how they can feel. Oh yeah, they're some of the best performers. Uh, they're the they're the performers that will perform in front of you and bring you to tears. They're some of the best musicians. They're just really good at helping people work through these, like you said, these finely nuanced emotions through some sort of platform or art form, some medium. Because I, I think what happens is that it's difficult to get words for all of those nuanced emotions. It's like, it's difficult to put them into words. So what they do is they help us understand those emotions by replicating them through performance it's or experience, art. experience, basically. Right, it, right. They help us go through an experience of what that emotion is, which is why they're so good on it. A good at doing that performance. Yeah. Now, if you look at the car model, that's their driver and their co-pilot. If they spend too much time in their 10 year old process of perspectives though, and perspectives is sort of the mirror opposite of sensation, that is a process that has them sort of going inside their own mind and looking for information, uh, basically kind of evidentiary information inside their own mind. Now, the reason why that can be dangerous for somebody of this type is that they feel so strongly about whatever it is that they're, they're thinking about, right? Like they create a conviction around things. But the best way for them to vet their emotion around something is to go out and experience the world and actually have direct interaction with the world, right? Like through that sensation process, really kind of get a bigger frame of how the world works by interacting with it. And then reviewing and saying, is this the emotion I should be feeling about this? Or is this my emotion still now that I've actually had direct experience with it? If they cut themselves off from direct experience and just use that perspectives process to go, what am I thinking about it? They can sometimes attach themselves to emotions that don't actually have any relationship to reality, right? Like you can kind of get convicted or emotionally attached to something that is an ideal in their head that doesn't actually mirror anything in the outside world. And if you're an ISFP, one of the other things that might come up for you is you have such a an in-touch ability to understand the emotions that are coming up for you that you might not even have language for, but you just experience them. You understand the subjective, unique, personal nature of every single person on the planet. You understand that no two people are alike. Everyone's a unique snowflake, quote unquote, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that might happen for you is you feel like anything 
like any type of system or framework that could help maybe understand or look at the world or any kind of lens that could help focus or categorize things is removing the personal expressive mm. element of the individual. Right. And so sometimes you have a tendency to dismiss things that might be very helpful for you mm. that aren't necessarily trying to put you in a box. They're just trying to help categorize things and help understand people with the language we have and the ability we have to understand them. Because not everybody thinks in this term of this specific nuance of emotion, this experience level. Yeah, that's a good distinction between putting somebody in a box and helping sort of categorize things just so that we can understand them better. Yeah. They're not exactly the same thing, even though sometimes they feel like the same thing. Yeah. If you take in the genius style assessment and you've come out as an authenticity sensation person, we really recommend that you maybe think about getting the premium content because it will give you a lot of examples and exercises on how to get out of the perspectives process, that 10 year old, and into sensation, which is your co-pilot. And that's generally where your best work is done. I've yeah. noticed that a lot of people of this type are either artists or they're missionaries or they're people who are really, they're very inspirational. They're like, they want to lead the charge in some sort of self-expressive way. And you will do that the best if you make sure that you stay in your co-pilot position of sensation. So let me ask you, mm -hmm. what is the secret about ISFPs or authenticity sensation people that most people don't know? So I think it has to do with what we just talked about or what I just mentioned about inspiration. Mm -hmm. I think actually uh, there's such a uniqueness about every ISFP. There's such a sort of this individual expressiveness and how they hold space for other people's individual expression. But I think despite the fact that they recognize that everybody's a unique snowflake, I think there's a part of them that really wants to inspire people in mass. I don't think they just want to bring art for art's sake. I think they want to lead a charge, but they don't want to do it in a systemic way. They don't want to lead people by sort of managing them or forcing them to do something. They want to lead them through inspiration. I think yeah. they really they really want to bring something unique and amazing to the world and they want to they want everybody to sort of follow them by having their hearts and minds changed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for this riff, joining us on this riff about the ISFP personality type or the authenticity sensation type in the genius system.